Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my sixth empties video and I have a lot more than I normally do. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot in this drawer to get through. This is my empties drawer so as soon as anything runs out I pop it straight in this drawer ready to do these videos for you. If you're not too sure what an empties video is then basically when I run out of something I pop it to one side and then I do this video to show you what I've used up and whether I would repurchase it and my thoughts on that product as well. So I always have a few things that are always in here every single time I do an empties video. And the first one is my Batiste dry shampoo. This is obviously the light and blonde a hint of colour one. This is one that I always pick up. I have another one just to the right of me and I absolutely love it. I've got it on today because my hair is starting to get to the point where it's like, Lucy, you really need to wash me. But this is amazing, I absolutely love it. It is an absolute god save, especially if you have long hair, it takes so long to wash and dry your hair. So this is good, just gives you an extra one or two days without having to wash your hair basically. Next up is also a very, very well loved product. This is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, even for sensitive skin. Um, it's basically a face, eyes and lips makeup remover and it's really, really, really good. This is my second bottle that I've used up and I've already bought another one, but I've bought the latest one that's out, which is for combination and sensitive skin. So just the exact same stuff as this, but it mattifies the skin as well. If I'm completely honest with you, I think this is a little bit tightening for my skin. I haven't been as oily with using it, but I find that I have to use more of this to get off my eye makeup than I had to do for the original sensitive one. So when it comes to repurchasing again, I'll just go straight for the pink one instead of going for the green one. Something that I am completely happy that I've run out of is the Soap and Glory Off Your Face. 3-in-1 Daily Purifying Cloths, which is infused with Paw Shrink, RS, Peach and Gore Juice Extracts. And these are absolutely naff. They're no good at all. They are really, really dry. They're meant to cleanse, tone and exfoliate your face, hence the 3-in-1 name. But I think they're naff. They're really, really dry. They don't take off your eye makeup. They're, they're good for getting off like the nitty and gritty. Say if you have a lot of makeup on, say if you have des like, Estee Lauder's Double Wear on. Um, you want to go through the wipe first before you go in with your micella water. Um, then, then they're okay for that, but I wouldn't ever repurchase them. The reason that I actually have these is because you got them in the Soap and Glory Christmas kit, which my mum got me for my birthday, I believe it was. And I wouldn't ever repurchase them again. Next up is a product that has well and truly lasted me a very, very long time. It's the Dead Sea, the Miraculous Source Natural Black Mud Mask Soap. And this is really really good especially for them days when you just feel really groggy or say if you fake tan a lot and it gets stuck in your pores this is amazing for helping with that it also helps with psoriasis and eczema and things like that it's really, really nourishing for the skin which is really good because i actually have eczema on my thighs so you can put this on your face and body i leave this on whilst i'm shampooing or i put a good song on and have a little boogie in the, in the shower with it whilst it's all drying getting all that gunk out for me I actually have two of these this is what it actually looks like I'm so happy that I can start using a brand new one um, and basically just rub it all over the skin and it leaves like a black kind of charcoal it smells gorgeous it looks like a black kind of charcoal to the skin um, and then once that dries obviously it's a mask then you just wash it all off and your skin feels amazing. It feels so much more pure. It, it just feels like heaven. <laughs> but it took me absolutely months and months to get through that. I did get that scent for free. Um, I've been in the box that I actually, the one that I used up because it was all soggy from being in the bathroom. So thank you so much for sending this. You can get this in Boots. And I got it sent to me maybe like the beginning of the year. And I've not even spoke about it like I... I've been loving it, but haven't actually got round to telling you that I've been loving it. But I don't know if you've noticed, I've not really been doing monthly favourites this year. So I need to try and get back into the kick of doing monthly favourites so I can share products like these with you. Um, and the same with like the micellar water and stuff like that. So I absolutely love this and it's only about 3 to £5 pound from Boots. And they even sell it in small boots as well because they sell it in the boots that's just around the corner from me. And that one's more of like a chemistry kind of boots chemistry <laughs> so yeah it's really really easy to get as well i've also used up a beyonce pulse deodorant natural spray and it's like a vaporized one so this one is more like a body spray it's 
completely gone, there's like the titchiest bit left. Ooh, ooh, and there's a bit, that was a nice little bonus. <laughs> and I absolutely love this. You know how much I love the Beyonce's perfumes. If you watch my perfume collection video, I love Beyonce's perfumes. And this was really nice. I had this in my handbag for so long. Another body spray is the Outspoken Intense by Fergie, which is one of the Avon ones. I don't know if it's got anything left. Titchy, titchy little bit left. It's just basically a body spray. I won't be repurchasing it because my body sprays are just body sprays. And they always choke me out as well. Though Beyonce one didn't because that was more of like your perfume than it was a body spray. Whereas this is actually a body spray. And they just choke me. Like, they really choke me. So... I won't be repurchasing this one, unfortunately, as there's much better ones out there as well that are a lot cheaper than that. A hair product that I am basically have used up, I've got like the titchiest bit left, this is the Free From Frizz Thick Slash Coarse Blowout Shampoo, um, and it's in the Mango Scent, and you'll have seen this in a monthly favourites way, way, way back, um, along with the conditioner, and I absolutely love this. I did get this sent to me for free a very, very long time ago as well, and I had somebody message me on Twitter about the blowout kit that I got with it as well. I haven't actually had a chance to try that yet, even though it's been months and months. I haven't actually tried it, but the shampoo and conditioner I'd really, really, really recommend. And these are, again, really affordable from Boots as well, so it's not going to break the bank. Now, if you have been watching my YouTube for a very long time, you know that I used to be obsessed with this. This is from Avon, and it's the uh, Strawberry and Guava, is that what you say? Um, fragrance spritz and I absolutely love this. I used to always buy it when it was on the three for five pound or four for five pound offer instead of like paying four pound for one. So I used to always, always stock up and my bedroom just used to smell of it. I used to spray it on my clothes, I used to spray it on my bedding, I used to spray it around the room just to give it a nice smell to the room. I absolutely love this. To be honest with you, I need to start ordering from Avon more again because there's so many things that I'm missing out. There's so many things that I love from the Avon as well that I'd love to repurchase and rekindle an old love of them. Another spray, but this one is for your face. This is the MAC Fix Plus, and this was 100 millilitres one, and I've had this for years. It still has a titchy, titchy little bit left. I absolutely loved it. I really do like it. I don't think I'd repurchase it because there are other makeup sprays that I'd like to try. I really want to try the Urban Decay face sprays and see what they're like. But this is really, really nice. It's nice. I think it's kind of on par with the Benefit one. I won't be repurchasing it, but I probably will repurchase it at some point in the future. Just won't be any time soon. Another fixing spray is this one, which is from e.l.f. And this was their Mineral Mist Spray, something like that. It was Mineral something. But you can still get it in the UK now. They've relaunched the website. It looks a lot prettier. Prices have gone up ever so slightly. I don't know whether I'm still on the, e on the mailing list, but I don't even get the emails anymore saying like 50% off so-and-so um, when you spend £30. So I don't even know if I have them really good offers anymore, which is the reason why I used to buy a lot from e.l.f. Because you could get, you get like lipsticks for like 75p, it was amazing. Um, but I really do like that mist as well. But like I said, I'll, I'll try some new ones, so I won't be repurchasing any time soon. The perfume that I've used up is one of the Benefit ones, and this is the Something About Sophia. And this perfume is really, really nice. It's definitely a day-to-day -day perfume. I've had quite a lot of compliments wearing this. It's a bit too soft for... Um, night time, but I do really, really like it. I also have two other bottles left over, so I'll be quite disappointed when them two run out because you can't buy this anymore. If you watch my channel quite frequently, you'll know that I'm trying to use up all of my skincare minis so that I can start using the big ones and don't have loads of minis lying around. And I actually have used quite a few. The first one, which isn't really a mini, it's more like a sachet, um, it's from Dermalogica and it's the Intensive Moisture Balance. I don't actually mind this, it was really nice, it really did sink into the skin and it was really nourishing, but I know how expensive Dermalogica is, so I don't think I would buy this in full size. Something that I will definitely not be buying ever again is the Philosophy Eye Hope. And this is a multitasking eye cream for dark circles, puffiness and lines. And if you watch my vlog that I did ages and ages ago, you'll know that I'm, I don't like this. There's still product left in it, but I don't like it. It just doesn't compare to eye creams that I've used, like from number seven, from Lancome, from Benefit. They're just, it, it's not nourishing. It doesn't sink into the skin. It's not moisturising. It's not even like a cream because it's not creamy. It's like a bit dry. I just, I just personally just don't like it. Point blank, to be completely honest. An eye cream that I do really, really like is Benefit's It's Potent, and I've used up my mini of this, which is 
such a such a cute little bottle and it's for brightening eye cream to fade dark circles and I don't need to repurchase this because I've got another little it's potent on the go and I also have it in full size as well so I think it's probably going to be one of my go-to eye creams because it really does nourish the skin I used it this morning and it just sinks in and it just gives you that glow as well it's it's honestly, there's not enough words to say how nice it is. Another eye cream that is also really, really nice is from Lancome. And this is the Eye Contour Gel Cream. I couldn't read it there. And I used this up last night, actually. It was quite convenient with me doing this video today. And I really like this one. It's really, really nourishing. It's not creamy like the Benefit one. It's more, obviously, with it being a gel, it's more, um, like, wet and cooling, which is really, really nice. I don't think I'd buy this as a full size because it is Lancome, so it probably will be on a bit of a pricey side. Plus, there's that many different eye creams out there. I don't think I'd want to commit to a full-sized one anyway. I'm quite enjoying dipping and dabbing in between different brands. And the last skincare product that I've used up is a Clarins Hide Quench Cream for normal dry skin. It took me ages to use this up because I've been dipping and dabbing between different um, creams as well. So, but I don't think I would repurchase this one again because I'm not normal to dry skin. I've got quite a few makeup products that I've used up. The first one is a foundation. I'm so happy that I've used up a foundation, which sounds so weird for somebody to say. It's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. And I have done a foundation Friday on this, so I'll leave a link down below. As for repurchasing it, I don't think I will. Um, I do really like the foundation. I, I think it looks gorgeous and glowy. But I do still want to use this foundation. I have got the shade Ivory in it anyway. But I don't think I would repurchase it because I'm too much of a trier when it comes to foundation. And I don't think that I'd want to go back to this because I'd want to try new foundations and find something that's a bit better for me. Because as much as this is really, really nice, it wasn't everything that I was looking for in a foundation. So I wouldn't repurchase it, even though it is really good. Another product that I wouldn't repurchase is the Sub and Glory Thick and Fast Super Volume Mascara. And I have spoke about this in my mascara collection video. I'll leave the link down below in case you wanna see that. And this is good if you want really natural day-to-day -day look and you just don't want it to be in your first drama with your lashes. You want it to be really natural. This would be perfect if you're at school and you don't want to get told off for wearing mascara. But for me, I like my lashes to be seen and this just wasn't doing anything for me. Even going to the shop, I thought this isn't enough. Like, I still need a bit more mascara to go to the shop than what this was giving me. Another mascara, which is one that it's quite frequent in my um, empties video is it there we go this one's only a mini though and this is obviously by benefit and i absolutely love it i've just got another one so now i've got two full-size ones i don't think i've got any minis left to be honest i've used all my minis up and i absolutely love this it's amazing for volume length drama black is black it's absolutely amazing I've used up a concealer, um, which I'm quite proud of as well. This is the Collection 2000 Illuminating Touch Light Diffusing Concealer in the shade 2 Natural. I can't even tell you how long I've actually had this for. I actually did a video comparing it to the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter and Light Boost. So I will leave that down below in case you want to see which um, concealer won. And I also tried them on side by side to each other so you can see the difference in colour and coverage and texture and all that stuff. This was really, really nice. I don't think I'd repurchase it because I want to try other concealers. And then last but not least, um, I've used up a brow product, which is also quite rare for me. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. And this is basically meant to be a dupe for the Benefit Skimmy Brow. It's not as good as Benefit Skimmy Brow. I have it on today because I have repurchased it already. It's on here. <laughs> And for £2, £3 odd, it is amazing for what it actually does. I'm in the shade 01 Blondie Brows, and this is the one that obviously I've got on today. And it's an okay alternative to Benefit Skimmy Brow. That's another one that I've used up. So that's my drawer, nice and empty, ready to start for our number 7 empties video. And I'll start building things up and hopefully I'll have some more goodies and hopefully I'll have used up like another foundation or something like that. I'm getting to the end of quite a few at the moment so I'm going to try and power through and hopefully use up a few more foundations as well so that my collection isn't as 
chaotic as it is at the moment. This video is actually part of my empties playlist. If it doesn't work automatically then you can go on my actual YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe but also you can go on my playlist and there'll be an empties video so you can see all the empties that I've collected um, since I've started doing these videos and then you can see which products I would repurchase and which ones I wouldn't. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh and this year I'm aiming to try and reach 5,000 subscribers so I'd really appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends and family and post it on your Facebook or Twitter or post a picture of it on your Instagram and tag me in it as well so that I can like it and comment and we can have a little chit chat but also just to help me promote my channel a bit more because I want to try and reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2015 so let's see whether we can do this together. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!